Hey y'all, this is your girl Tanisha Shane, Miss Inspiration, your inspirational speaker, author, and purposeful lifestyle strategist. I'm here to speak to you on one thing, one thing only, so this is going to be extra, extra brief, short to the point. So I have been speaking and working with individuals for the last seven years on how to devise and establish a purposeful, healthy lifestyle. And the first thing that I always have to do is help my clients to identify what is their purpose. Um, over the weekend, I was reading an article by Forbes, and it was speaking on how to, before you start looking for another job or before you sign that, um, you take that job offer, one of the first things that you should do is make sure that the company that you're working for or that you're going to work for is going to be in alignment of your life's work or your life's mission. That's your purpose, right? And I definitely agree with that. However, the problem is that most people don't know their purpose. They don't know why they're here. So the first thing, this is a multiple layer process of finding out your purpose. This is something I do with all of my clients. Anytime that I do any goal setting um, workshops, this is something I encourage everyone to participate and to actually do. So the first thing I want you to do is start to identify like, what are you really good at? Like have a self reflection and think about all of the things that you are good at. Now, there's some rules to this. It's not only limited to what you have done in the past as far as your work history. Don't only think about your job titles. Really think about everything that you're good at because God has given each and every one of us multiple, multiple, multiple talents. Some of you already identified those talents. Some of you already mastered those talents. Some of you, they're still unknown. But already thus far, you have, you know that you're good at something, right? So as long as you can identify that for yourself and you can admit, like, I know that I'm good at this. When I did this years ago, I had to really understand that um, I was really good. I knew I was good at writing. Like, I've been good at writing since I was a little girl. And I never thought... I never thought I would be a speaker. I never wanted to be a teacher, okay? Um, and the reason why I never wanted, I never thought I would ever be a speaker was because when I was younger, I had a stutter. And when, as I developed as a speaker, when I was in college, I actually did take public speaking two times. It was a, I don't know why they had advanced public speaking, but we're going to talk about that right now. Um, <laughs> but I did take public speaking and that actually helped me to work on my speaking. Um, and then I also just realized that a lot of my stuttering was due to me just being nervous and just not wanting to speak in front of people and not realizing that my, I don't, don't want to say my mouth because people take it the wrong way, but the thing, like when I speak, that's my power. That is one of the, my, the most powerful things. I don't know why there's been times that I would just start speaking in a room full of people. And then that message, whatever God is putting on my heart for that time, it just hits people and they start crying and there's emotions. And I have to accept that's what I'm good at. Okay. Um, I know that I'm good at teaching, even though <laughs> for a long time, I never wanted to be a teacher. I was told since elementary school that I was going to be a teacher. I'm glad I never made any bets for my teachers back then because I'm pretty sure I'll be really broke. But <laughs> it is something that I'm really good at. And then I can even break it down even further. Like, what am I good at teaching? You know what I'm saying? So you have to start there because somewhere hidden and what you're good at is your purpose. And until you start to really lay that out and you start to really um, put out this, I want you to think like, think beyond just like I said, um, before I was an educator, before I became a college professor, I knew I was good at teaching because I used to do all the training, right? I, I was an intern at Rockefeller and Interscope Records when I was in high school. And when I was at Interscope, I trained all of the college interns for the time that I was there for about two years. I was training. I created training manuals. Like I can literally tag my mentor, she can tell you, I, we created together what well, she did the first time. And then I did the updates as we were making changes in policies and, st and systems. And I went through that whole process and I trained them on how to make double copies, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, these are the things that I was good at. And I 
was not a teacher. I was not a trainer at that time. Um, it was just a skill and it was something that was necessary that the company needed, that my department needed. And I was, I stepped up to the plate and I did it. I was uncomfortable. I didn't like to do it. And I was good at it. How ironic. And then because life hit me, it caused me to go into the teaching profession um, when I didn't want to still. But again, when I needed money during the last recession, that was the only opportunity that came that was able to put extra dollars into my pockets. And I have now been teaching professionally 10 years. And I have been speaking professionally for eight years. So when I say to you, your purpose is hitting in your the things that you are good at. Start with that list. If you're good at painting nails, if you're good at painting walls, if you're good at um, raking leaves, you're good at cleaning houses, you are good at learning new software, writing books, proofreading, like there's so many things that you're going to be good at. So I want you to start digging and I want you to start accepting like I'm good at this. I'm dope at that. Like you have to accept who you are and you have to be able to put that on paper because that's going to bring you one step closer to your life's purpose. And I understand this is going to be such an uncomfortable journey for you. I know so many of you are probably sitting here saying, why? I don't want to know my life's purpose. I've been doing great just so far. Um, yes, you probably have. But then I also know if you're like me, anything like me, before I realized. So I was teaching before I knew my life's purpose. I was just, I knew I was good at it. And like I said, I needed to do it. So some of you might be already in your purpose, but don't realize that you're in your purpose. Um, and you might not be where you're supposed to be. So your skill might be utilized in a company or an organization or in a particular position, but doesn't mean that you're necessarily truly acting and walking into your purpose. So that's the reason why we have to get started on that list and we have to make sure that that list is making sense. Um, well, no, it's not going to make sense. Just start with the list. Start writing down all those things that you're good at. Stay tuned because I will be giving you part two of the second step of what you should be doing as you are identifying your life's purpose. I'm your girl, Tanisha Shanae. Make sure you are tuning in and stay tuned. Put the notifications on so you will learn even more about how we can identify our life's purpose. Stay tuned for part two. Have a great one.